Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today I'm going to be helping you learn how to actually create like a box in Fusion 360. Now, to get to this point, all I did was open the program, so you should be able to do the exact same thing. So first things first, we're going to look over here on the left hand side. So we've got our little drop down menus here, and this is going to actually tell us some information about our drawing. Now first thing we want to do is set our units. Personally, I like millimeters, so I'm going to keep it in millimeters, but you can choose whatever you want. You know, you've got centimeters, millimeters, meters, inch, and feet. So we're just going to leave it as millimeters. So the first thing we want to do is right click on our document, our document settings, and we're going to hit new component. Now, if you've ever used a CAD program before, you're probably familiar with how you have to draw each component individually and then later on put them into an assembly. So like if you have a, a box with a lid, which is actually what we're going to be drawing, you would have to draw the box and the lid separately in different files and put them together. Fusion 360, you can do it all in the same place and it's really nice that way. So we're going to click down here on this little drop down menu on our component and you see how it says origin here it's just going to be setting its own like um, axes and it has its own origin which is nice it gives us a frame of reference and here you can see this little dot um, looks like an eye and that is actually going to tell you what component is active at the moment which one you're working on so right now we're working on component one so there are commands on their website and I will be listing those down below. So one of the shortcuts I'm going to press is S. Now this brings up our model toolbox. Now it says design shortcuts because that's actually going to change depending on what you're doing. Right now we don't have anything sketched so it's going to give us this. And it has our little, uh, it has some things here that we can choose from so fill it and extrude but we can also choose to do other things by searching so like if we want a rectangle now here you've got different types of rectangles and there's different types of circles there's different type of rectangles and that's not completely unique to this section here because you can actually find those things up here so you've got like your extrude button you've got your revolve and they even have nice little um, explanations too so you can read about those so now what we're going to do is create a sketch and see the sketch has its own um, set of axes here with its own origin so we're going to choose any of them it doesn't really matter at this point point. Um, and when we select that face we're going to become normal to it and what that means is imagine you have a piece of paper and you're pointing a pencil at it well, that is normal to the paper. And so that's what view we have. We're, we are the pencil, basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a rectangle. And since we're going to be starting from the origin here, I don't want to use just like a two-point rectangle. I think it'll be easier if we use a center rectangle. But why should we go through all these little menus and everything when we could just hit S and see right here we've got sketch shortcuts now because it's changed because now we are in a sketch um, we're going to not choose two-point rectangle but we're just gonna search rectangle and choose center rectangle I know it doesn't seem like it's a huge time saver but when you get used to it you can just start typing immediately and it, and it does eventually become second nature to you so like s rectangle and then you can click it really quickly or if you want to have it up here all the time so that you can just hit S and then click on it immediately you have this little button right here now this adds it to your shortcuts or your toolbox and so we're gonna click that just because we are going to be using this one quite a bit so we're gonna hit S click on our center rectangle and then we're gonna choose the origin and we're gonna draw it so since we want a box I guess we could make it square so what I'm going to do is we're going to make it, um, let's make it 100 by 100. You know, that it's a nice round number. So you see the one number is highlighted already. 
So that means that we can type in it. What we're going to do is hit 100 and then to get to the other number so we can type in that one, we're going to hit tab and then we're going to type in 100 as well. And once we hit enter, it is now set in stone. So now we have our little drawing here and we want to extrude it. We want to actually make it into like a square, like a box actually. So another one of your commands that you should know is Q. Q is push pull or press pull, my bad. So here, what we can use this for is to extrude something. We're going to extrude this section and see it's highlighted it blue so that we know that we've selected the right bit. So there's some stuff here that we would like to take a look at. For instance, the start is a profile plane, which means that it's going to be whatever plane we've selected. Direction, you can have it go both ways, symmetric or just on one side. We're just going to keep it on one side for now, make it a little simpler. And then um, the extent is we can go through all, we can go to an object. So these are not really applicable here. Um, we don't really have anything else in, as a reference, but we're just going to leave it on distance. And distance here is how much pull we're going to have. So you see this number here correlates with this number here. We're going to move this out of the way. So when we select here, now it's, it's giving us increments of 10 millimeters. So if we didn't want that, we could just type in our distance here or we could type it in here. Either way, it will do the same thing. So we will do, since it's a, we'll make it a square, we'll make it 100 millimeters. Hit enter. Okay. So now that our square is actually black, we know that it is set. It is solid and we can actually now start doing other things to it. So we want to make it a little bit more hollow. We want to make it so that we could put something in it. So we're going to click on create sketch up here and we're going to choose which face we want it on. Now we're going to choose the top face here. Okay. And so now it looks like before, because this is a two dimensional view, we've become normal to it again. If you look at anything normal, then you're going to see a 2D version of it as if you had laid it down on a, on a piece of paper. So what we're going to do is draw another rectangle. Now we don't want a two point rectangle, so we're going to hit S and click our nice little shortcut here for the center rectangle. We're going to click in our origin once more. And now we want at least 20 millimeters on every side. This makes it nice and easy because it has a grid that it snaps to, so you don't really have to worry about too much. However, if yours doesn't, then you can still simply type in 80 by 80. Next, we're going to hit our Q, and we're going to select our new little box here, and we're going to bring it down. Now, if we were to just do this, this extent, it, since it's at distance right now, if we just do this and we later on decide we want the wall of the box to be taller, then it's going to make the bottom thicker. We don't want that. We want this to be 20 millimeters from the bottom at all times, even if the box height increases. So what we're going to do is switch this to two object. So that is going to allow us to choose our bottom face where we're going to hit shift, hold that, and click with our middle click button and bring it down to the bottom and click here. So now you can see that the red is all the way through. We don't want that. We want our distance to be 20 millimeters, negative 20 millimeters from the bottom. Oh my goodness, sorry. What we're going to do is again, select our bottom, go up here and choose our offset, my bad, to be negative 20 millimeters. Now what that's going to do is you'll see here, it has made it so that it is 20 millimeters away from that face. If we made it 20 millim, if we made it positive 20 millimeters, you'll see it goes all the way through and past it. 
So what we it, what it's saying is is that reference point is that face. So negative of that will be away from the face, more into the middle of the box, whereas positive will be further out from that face. So we're going to make this negative once more, and then we're going to hit enter. Now it is rendered, and we can see here that we have a nice box with a cutout so that we can actually put stuff in it. So next, one thing before we, uh, we finish up this video, because in the next video we will be making the lid to this, we're going to go up here to the tools and we're going to fill it, this box. We want to make the nice, nice rounded edges. However, before we do that, I actually want to use the S button because it's easy and you'll just want to always use it. I mean, you can click this, but it's nice to, to know that this is here for everything. And since we're on a design here, we're not sketching anything currently, these shortcuts actually has fillet in it. So we're going to give the inside of the box, we want to give here and here, oh, and then here, and all the way in here. Now notice how I'm checking or how I'm clicking on these inside corners even though there is an outside wall there. The program is smart enough to understand that you're actually trying to go through and choose the inside ones. It's nice. It, it makes it a little bit easier so then you don't have to constantly be moving your view which can be disorienting and annoying. So now that we've got our four edges selected we're going to give it a constant radius and we're going to choose that radius. I'm going to make that radius three millimeters. Eh, it looks a little bit too tiny, so we'll make it five. That's a little bit better. And we're going to hit enter. All right, and now we've filleted the inside. Now let's do the same thing for the outside. All you have to do is hit S, click on your fillet, or you can press F, it's the same thing. So like if I close this, press F and it gives us our fillet. So we're going to click on the outside four corners. See how I'm choosing it through the geometry there. And there. And we're going to do another five millimeter fillet. And I like that. I think, oh goodness, my mouse clicked. I think that's a nice looking box so far. So in the next video, we'll continue this and we'll actually give a lid to this box and then close it so that you guys can all see that. It's pretty interesting. And if this video helped you, please like and subscribe because it helps us understand that we're doing the right thing and that you guys want to see more. Plus, it helps us make these videos. So please, like and subscribe because you don't want to miss out on this, especially if you're a beginner who just wants to learn some things about Fusion 360. Thanks for watching.